All right, hello everybody. Today is September 9th, 2023, and today we're in Ironton, Ohio, and we're here to see the Grand Army of the Republic Memorial Hall. This actual building was built in 1892. All right, I am Michael and this is Jenny, so come along and let's learn a little bit about the Memorial Hall. All right, this is the Grand Army of the Republic Memorial Hall, built in 1892, and it is a historic building located at 401 Railroad Street in Ironton, Ohio. And the architect of this particular building is Joseph W. Yost, and it is in the Romanesque style of architecture. It was built to serve as a Grand Army of the Republic Memorial and the Meeting Hall of Dick Lambert, post number 165. And they do have posted no trespassing keep out. And we were noticing up here the archway, how detailed the archway is of the Memorial Hall. And this is a closer view of the archway. And like I said before, we like to get out and take a look up close to architecture. Beautifully designed. And this gives you an idea where the window was. They have it boarded up right now. This is a side view and the tower of the actual hall. And within the stonework, it does have, it looks to be HW 1913 within the rock here. And this is the side of the tower going up. And at one time it had windows on the side tower as well. And as you walk down the sidewalk, this is the side view. They have bars up here. And this particular hall did serve as American Legion to post number 59, as well as the Ironton City Hall at one time. and the stonework on top of the wall as you're walking the sidewalk. And the building actually goes way up and that is the tower and that direction is the front of the hall. And this has gone to the back of the hall and it does have an opening here. It gives you a better look of what the inside is looking like now. And I'm going to assume that was an inner wall at one time where the window is straight ahead. And I must say, we really do like getting out on foot and taking a look at architecture and abandoned buildings as well. And this looks to be where perhaps they would deliver some items or something. I'm not really sure on that, but definitely be enough to get a car down in there or backed up to a certain extent. And this is the other side of the wall. This is actually on a street. There is no sidewalk to this, but it is on a street and appears to be a little doorway there. And they have blocked it in some. And this is another view of inside. You can see some of the brickwork going upwards on the side of the Memorial Hall. And it appears to be some kind of box there, perhaps for mail at one time. And we're back to the front of the building and they have a wooden door here. 
And uh, I must say, it's pretty neat to see this wooden door. And another window is boarded up as well. And there is a narrow window all the way up to the top. May be difficult to see. And then another little window right below it. And a little bit more history on the Memorial Hall. After being abandoned by the city, American Legion Post number 433 undertook the task of restoring the long neglected Veterans Memorial. On September 19, 2012, the building was added to the National Register of Historic Places. On May 28, 2014, demolition of the building began. And directly below the window, they do have an engraving, and it is a bird perched upon the American flag. And I am sure at one time this building was magnificent when it was all together and everybody was coming in and out, even by the little design of the arch over the window. And this gives you another view of what the inside of the Memorial Hall looked like before the roof caved in and the windows were all boarded up. And this gives you an interior view of the brickwork right in that direction and right up here is a steel beam. And Jenny, you said what? Beauty of the abandoned. And Jenny said the beauty of abandoned. Does that make sense? Makes sense to me. Uh, yeah. Even though it's abandoned, it's still beautiful. <laughs> Indeed. And they do still have the American flag flying proudly outside of the Memorial Hall. And on the sidewalk here, going up to the Memorial Hall, we have a little TJ Mulligan contractor, Ironton, Ohio. One of those little details you do not see within your own car until you get out on foot. And this is the overview of the Memorial Hall. And this gives you one more look at the beauty of the abandoned building in Ironton, Ohio. All right, I am Michael and this is Jenny. We're Michael and Jenny on YouTube. We like to come to Ironton because it's rich in history and also the architecture, and we like to get out and walk around. So if you don't mind, please subscribe, leave comments, ring the bell, whatever you like to do there. And most of all, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching. All right, bye-bye.